Russia feared this powerful Avenger drone. The General Atomics Avenger, formerly known as the Predator C, is one of the most recent UAV systems to be deployed by the US military. It features some of the most cutting-edge UAV technologies. The MQ-9 Reaper series, previously known as Predator B, which itself was created using the knowledge gained from the MQ-1 Predator, previously known as Predator A, served as the basis for the system's development. The MQ-9 Reaper series is marketed as a true unmanned combat air vehicle, more clearly defining its role than earlier UAV models. If the technology behind the Avenger lives up to expectations, it should maintain a long and healthy career in service to the American military. The Avenger is a more powerful and lethal version of all prior Predator UAVs. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems of San Diego, California is the prime contractor and the first flight was performed on April 4, 2009. So what's packed with this powerful Avenger drone? Let's find out! Hey guys, welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world, and in addition for the latest episodes, we'll be covering all military defense news. So stay with us till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. In order to equip the U.S. Air Force and other ally forces with increased quick response and enhanced combat capabilities, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has developed and produced the Predator C Avenger, a next-generation multi-mission UAS. The UAS has a high operational speed and long endurance, and it may be used for intelligence, border and wide area surveillance, armed reconnaissance, and precision attack missions against threats in both conventional and asymmetric warfare. At the Gray Butte Flight Operations Facility of GAASI in Palmdale, California, the first Predator C Avenger aircraft system took to the skies for the first time in April 2009. During its initial flight in January 2012, the second UAS successfully demonstrated performance goals. The third and fourth airplanes are currently under production. During a test flight in November 2012, the Avenger UAS was effectively integrated with the Advanced Cockpit Ground Control Station of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. It wasn't until much later that the original Predator A, or MQ-1, was converted to carry Hellfire anti-tank missiles. The Predator B, also known as the MQ-9 Reaper, was a second-generation Predator that was designed from the start to carry weapons but had enhanced performance capabilities. Predator C, also known as Avenger, belongs to the third generation of the Predator and is more in line with the USAF's existing and prospective fifth-generation flighter fleet. Together, these things will put the USAF far ahead of any other Air Force in existence. The new Avenger UAV's use of existing Predator A and Predator B ground-based infrastructure is one of its selling points. This means that the US military would just need to purchase the Avenger itself and any new software needed to operate her, just like they did with the earlier Predator offerings. The Avenger uses a jet-powered engine which, combined with her stealth features, sets it apart from earlier Predator UAV models. Both the original and later Predator versions relied on a pusher propeller engine technology connected to a combustion engine to attain sufficient performance capabilities and loiter periods. As a result of the Avenger's adoption of a single 4,800-pound thrust Pratt & Whitney PW545B series engine, the Predator family line has undergone significant development. A great cry from the frail size adopted by the older MQ-1 and MQ-9 series, she also has a more substantial and frightening aspect. A military fighter-like operational ceiling at 60,000 feet is one of the performance requirements, as is a top speed of more than 460 miles per hour. The listed endurance is 20 hours, however, if more time is needed, it can be increased by adding an optional internal fuel tank that would take up room in the bomb bay. The internal fuel tank extends endurance by two more hours of flying. The Avenger has a sleek, contemporary exterior that is possibly more akin to the way Lockheed has designed its newest line of stealth aircraft, including the F-22 and F-35. To effectively deflate incoming radar signals intended to follow her, she has the ideal combination of curves and sharp angles. The fuselage's forward section is featureless and gives the impression of being a snout without a cockpit. The wings, which are placed at the midships and have a modest backward sweep, are about 66 feet across. There are no horizontal planes since the Avenger was built with a vertical fin assembly in the shape of a Y that serves the same purpose as horizontal and vertical planes on conventional aircraft. 
Above the fuselage, right behind the center of the wings, is a clearly visible air inlet that serves to aspirate the internal jet engine to lessen the heat signature of the engine. The exhaust exits the engine at the rear through a tiny S-shaped exhaust duct. A short running panel that extends past the exhaust outlet protects the venting from being exposed to the ground. The Lynx Synthetic Aperture Radar System and the AESA Wide Area Surveillance Sensor, both designed by General Atomics, are installed on the Avenger. The earlier system is based on the one that will be used as part of the Lockheed F-35 Lightning II's electrical optical targeting system using a tricycle undercarriage made up of two main landing gear legs and a nose landing gear leg. She is launched and retrieved from conventional runways. A missile, bomb, or piece of ammunition can be carried by the Avenger thanks to its six external wing hardpoints. Additionally, the interior weaponry bay of the UAS has room for up to 1,588 kilograms of precision munitions. The UAS is capable of carrying a number of combat-proven weapons, including an AGM-114 Hellfire surface-to-air anti-tank missiles, a 250-pound GBU-39 small-diameter bomb, a 500-pound GBU-12 or GBU-49 Paveway-2 laser-guided bomb, a 1,000-pound GBU-16 laser-guided bomb, and a GBU-48 precision-guided bomb. It can also carry Joint Direct Attack Munition, Guided Bombs, GBU-31, GBU-32, and GBU-38. The Avenger uses an internal bomb bay to reduce the size of its radar signature. She's been given permission to transport the AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile system, which is also used by the Hughes AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, the GBU-24 Paveway-3 laser-guided bomb, the GBU-31 JDAM, which transforms conventional drop bombs into guided threats, and the GBU-38 small diameter bombs, which are bombs made to increase an aircraft's capacity for carrying ordnance. Internal ordnance payloads limited to 3,000 pounds. Sensor, electrical, and radar equipment can be used in place of the weapons in the interior compartment as needed. The Advanced Cockpit Ground Control Station, which has a touchscreen data display and ergonomically designed hands-on throttle and stick flight controls, is used to operate the Avenger UAS. The operator focus display enables them to observe enhanced synthetic video with 3D graphics and animated maps, as well as a 120-degree horizon field of view on several widescreen graphical overlays. Planning missions and having a better sense of the situation are both provided by the Advanced Cockpit GCS. Both manual and automatic flight operations are possible with it. With the exception of the mission function and payload carry, the Avenger is completely capable of taking on both combat and reconnaissance-focused missions. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments for us, please share them with us in the comment space below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. And we'll look for you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.